Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have two lions at the zoo. The weight of the younger is 379 pounds. The weight of the older, 514 pounds. What is the difference? There's our key word right there. Difference in pounds between these two weights. So difference means the answer to a specific type of problem. It's an answer to a subtraction problem. So each answer has a different word. So if you're adding two numbers, the answer is called a sum. If you're adding, if you're subtracting two numbers, the answer is difference. If you multiply, the answer is called a product. If you divide, the answer is called a quotient. So difference is the only clue that we're going to need to subtract here. Now, let's make sure we set up our number correctly. We always put the larger number on top. So we are going to have 514. We're going to have 379 underneath, line each of them up, and we are going to have to do quite a bit of regrouping. So let's draw this. Let me draw this and show you why we need to group. So here's my, these are my hundreds blocks, so I'm going to draw my 500s. I've got 110, and I've got four ones. So I'll just put those right down there. So there's my 514. And I need to take 379 away. You always start on the right. Smallest value first. So I need to take nine ones away from my four ones. Well, as you notice, I've only got four ones down there. I cannot possibly take nine ones. That's why I need to regroup. So what we do is go to the next place over, and I've got a 10. I'm going to take that 10, I'm going to break it up, which leaves me with zero 10s. But that 10 becomes 10 ones. Add it to the four ones I already had. Now I'm going to have 14. That's what it looks like down here. Here is my, I'm going to cross it off like this. I'm going to take my 110, I'm going to break it up into 10 ones. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, let's do two sets of five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. I've got 14 ones. So that's pretty good. Now I can take away nine. So 14 minus nine is five. So let's see what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there we go. I've got five ones left. Now I need to take away seven tenths. Well, as you can tell, I've got zero tens left. There's nothing there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to break up that 100. So that's going to leave me with 400s. And I'm going to break up the 100 into 10 tens. That's going to leave me with 10 tens because I didn't have any to begin with. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this 100 right here just got broken up into my 10 tens. Now I can get rid of 7. 10 minus 7, that makes 3. So let's get rid of that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that leaves me with, so you see here, I've got my 5 ones. I've got my 3 tens. I don't have to regroup from 100s. That's pretty good. I've got 400s. I need to get rid of 3 of them. So 1, 2, 3, that leaves me with 1. My answer looks like it's 135. Let's just double check. Let's add 379. Let's add 135. See if I get back up to 514. 9 and 5 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 and 3 is 10. Add that 1 back in is going to be 1. And let's see. 1 and 3 is 4. 4 and 1 is 5. So there we go. I get back up to my 514, which means my answer is going to be G135.